Well, hello, congratulations. How are you feeling being here this evening? Very excited. Yeah, it's wonderful to be here. Yeah. yeah. So I know that you directed the very first episode, the pilot. What is it that drew you to take on this project? Uh, the writing was incredible. The characters on the page just jumped alive. Um, I saw it in my head as I was reading it, which is incredibly rare. And it just felt like I hadn't done anything like it or seen anything like it. Yeah. And so just as a director, I was excited and also as an audience member. Yeah, definitely. What do you think that the audience is going to gravitate to when they see a series like this? It's so dark. There's so many twists and turns. What do you think that the audience will really connect with? Well, I hope that they'll be surprised. I hope that they'll be leaning in and wondering what's next, what's happening next, um, and that it feels like something they haven't seen before. That is the number one goal. But, you know, I think it resonates with a lot of the things that are going on in the world these days. And, you know, we all are going back to the workplace, you know, post-pandemic, too. What does a workplace look like now? That's a big part of it. Yeah. And then my final question to you is, I know that you're in the pre-production phase for Fantastic Four. What does it feel like having the opportunity to tackle a project like that, to step into those shoes? Oh, it's a joy. I mean, I've worked at Marvel before, so being there again, working with them, everyone's a family. It's a wonderful place to be. Um, I've loved those characters since I was a kid, so the chance to bring them to life is just a huge honor. That's so cool. Yeah. Well, thank right. you so much for speaking with us. Thank you. Congratulations on everything. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned and stick around for all of the interviews to come. We'll see you next time.